welcome to Chamber Talk. Uh, we're at the Chamber Ambassador Luncheon today, and we got a great group here. Um, they're actually enjoying their lunch right now, but we're going to interview some of these folks today. We're going to talk about what being a Chamber Ambassador has meant to them this year, what they've learned about the Chamber, um, some of the fun moments that they've shared together this year, and just how they've grown together as a group. And I also want to encourage you as a business or a business owner in Dublin and Lawrence County to consider participating in our ambassador program next year. We'll be taking applications at the chamber, I believe through January 15th. Um, and we'd love to have you participate. We've got a great group here. We've got a, a very energetic, lively show for you today, so we hope you'll stay tuned. All right, I'm here with Randy Jackson. Randy is the chair of the chamber ambassador program. And, and Randy, just what a group we've had this year. It's been exciting. And you know what a chair is for, people sit on it. So, you know, I don't know if that's good or bad, you know, being chair of something. Because people are going to sit on you from time to time. Now, that's not the kind of chair you've been at oh, okay. all. And, and you have done a wonderful job with our group. And, and we do want to say thank you to Bass Physical Therapy for being the corporate sponsor of our program this year. Well, we're excited to be able to do that. It's a great program. And, you know, we've had uh, here at the Chamber ambassadors in the past who were, were uh, to keep in contact with some of our members. But uh, Brother Heath here has brought us uh, ambassadors on steroids because he's brought it up to another level. And really all the ambassadors have a certain number of uh, chamber members that they keep in contact with, keep them informed, and just make them feel uh, wanted. And we really thank all the members for their participation. Randy, what, what's one of your favorite memories of, uh, and it's pro I'm sure I think I know what you're going to say, but what's one of your favorite memories of the ambassador program this year? <laughs> well, uh, you never know from one meeting to the next. Now, what are you talking about? Help me out here a little bit. Maybe to have anything to do with training or anything this year. Just oh. a fun moment oh, that, that's yeah. a memorable moment for this yeah. year. Well, uh, you know, we went a little crazy the last time at the breakfast, you know, with the boom shaka laka thing there, but we everybody pulled together. But there's always something at each meeting, you know, that's uh, going to bring it out. With everybody has a nickname, uh, you know, associated with their name, and that brings uh, a lot to light, you know. <laughs> so, so, do we need to clear the record today on Rainbow Randy? <laughs> well, Naughty Nancy, uh, who's over there uh, acting like she's not listening to us, you know, uh, Rambo was going to be my name to go with Randy, and she said, "What did you say? Did you say Rainbow?" So she took that, Naughty Nancy did right over there, and ran with that. But, I, you know, I'm going with more with Rain Bro, you know, and that's kind of where I'm headed. All right. Randy, anything you want to say to our viewers today? Uh, it's Christmas time from, from your family to theirs. Yes, thank you. We want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. You know, we've got a ton of grandbabies at our house, and it, Christmas is a special time. I, I love it, really. It's t kind of a time for us to regroup, rethink, you know, uh, our our relationship with our family, with the good Lord, and just kind of regroup. And uh, we're very thankful, and we wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and appreciate your participation and investment in the chamber. And we appreciate Heath being here. You know, during my last term as chair, uh, we had the... Uh, honor and job of finding a, a new CEO for the chamber and the good Lord sent us Heath is exactly what we needed and we're just tickled to death and things are going just super and we'll continue and we appreciate you being here. Randy, thank you on yes, behalf sir. of uh, the chamber. Thank you to Bass Physical Therapy and thank you for your service with yes, Ambassadors sir. this appreciate year. Appreciate you. All right, I have Brad Lofton with me. We're again, we're at the Ambassador uh, Christmas celebration this year and Brad has uh, attended most of our meetings this year. Brad, what do you think about this ambassador group? I think it's one of the best things the Chamber's ever done, man. It's given new life to the Chamber, given us some bench support at all of our ribbon cuttings and Chamber functions. It, um, uh, I think it's been a great thing. Congratulations on your idea, and it's been well done, well implemented, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. What do you, Brad, you, you've been to several of the meetings again. Any memorable moments? for ambassador meetings that you've been to this year? Anything stand out to you? I just think what's cool is showing up at a ribbon cutting and you've got uh, 75 to 100 people there supporting companies as they come into town. And that's what we ought to be doing as a community, welcoming these folks, rolling out the green carpet in Dublin carpet. and uh, letting folks know we appreciate your investment. And man, this group does a great job of that. And they're networking and, and making contacts. And that's what the chamber's all about. And uh, it's been, man, it's been great. Hey, we also appreciate all the work that you, your staff, and your board are doing here in Dublin and Lawrence County. And if you would, uh, take a minute and, and just share with our viewers um, Christmas wishes on behalf of the Dublin and Lawrence County Development Authority. Well, we 
this has been the best year in the last 20 years for economic development, and it's going to be a very Merry Christmas for, uh, you know, about 700 to 1,000 folks in Lawrence County uh, over the next 90 to 120 days as a lot of our new projects begin to come online and start hiring. So our hope in 2017 is we can continue that momentum, keep digging out of the hole we found ourselves in when Mohawk closed and Forceman and all these others. Uh, but I tell you what, man, we're, we're, we're heading in that direction. So that's our hope. Okay. Uh, once again, Brad Lofton, Development Authority. Brad, thank you. Thank, thank you for all that you guys do to make this a great place to live, work, and play. Okay, we caught up with Pat Ford with the Bank of Dudley, and, and Pat, welcome. Uh, thank you for being an ambassador and serving our community this year. You came in a little bit late in the year right. this year, um, but tell me your, your thoughts and views on the program this year. I'm, I'm telling you what, this has been a, an enjoyable ride. I mean, coming in, being involved in what the community is doing, Heath, and, and really being able to engage not only those that are presently here and that have been in the community for many years, but those that are newcomers also in the ambassador program really allows uh, us as a community to shine, Heath. It's just an opportunity to share what we love about Dublin Lawrence County to those uh, that are just moving in or to those that have been here for a while and uh, maybe they just need some re-energization or something, some re-energy uh, to get things moving. But it's been a fantastic and a fun time to be associated with the Ambassador Program. Fantastic. Uh, Pat, we've had some fun lunches this year. We've had some serious programs. We've had the police chief in, the city right. manager. So we've learned a lot about business and community development here. Um, but of the lunches that you've attended, of the programs you've attended, is there any particular thing that sticks out, any fun moment or, or anything you'd like to reflect on? Well, uh, you know, I've, I've been to a few uh, uh, luncheons here with ambassadors, and everybody's got a nickname. And that's one thing I learned when I first came in. Um, so you in the community, um, when you see the ambassadors out or you see Heath, uh, make sure you, you sort of find out what is my ambassador's nickname. We're going to use that as a, 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 a sort of a game for our ambassadors when they're going out or, uh, and talking with these uh, local businesses. Find out your ambassador's nickname because it's associated with the first name. Um, but we've had a good time with that. And, of course, uh, the, the meeting with Tim Chapman. Uh, fantastic. He's got a lot going on with being the police chief, the pastor, just a great civic leader too. But they've been exciting. But we'll leave the nicknames up to you to find out. Pat, you got to tell us your nickname yeah. now. <laughs> I've got a number of um, uh, names that people have called me through the years. But my nickname, uh, I'm going to leave that for my uh, associates to find out. That's going to be like a sort of opening the Christmas present here. Okay. All Ooh. right, there we go. Hey, real quick, on behalf of the Bank of Dudley, any Christmas wishes for our viewers? Well, just appreciate everybody out there that uh, participates and is associated with the Bank of Dudley. We've got a great bank since 1905. We've been around uh, with the community, community-oriented, just like the ambassadors in the Dublin Lawrence County. We want to definitely keep uh, Dublin green and growing and as you always said, and it's a great catchphrase, it's a great day to do business in uh, Dublin, Lawrence County. Pat Ford with the Bank of Dudley. Okay, I have Whitney Bass with me of Bass Physical Therapy, and Whitney joined our program this year, and uh, we were talking about Whitney's title, and we're just going to say she's heir to the throne of the, of the Bass Empire here in Dublin, Lawrence County, but Whitney, thank you guys again. Uh, we mentioned with Randy earlier on the show, you guys have been wonderful sponsors of the program. Um, what has being an ambassador this year meant to you? Um, it's been a great opportunity for me to see really what the chamber is all about. I'll be honest, I didn't really understand what the chamber did until I became an ambassador and it's given me a chance to talk to businesses that I probably would have never gone in, visited. So it's it's opened up new doors for me, new opportunities for me. Any, any new relationships and any uh, meetings or anything that we did this year that particularly stand out to you? <laughs> Well, all the ambassadors, I feel like we have a good relationship now. Um, people that I didn't know that I've met, um, friendships have been formed. But um, 
I think Randy already touched on it, but I'd say the rainbow thing probably sticks out the best in my mind. Because he, I don't know, it just fits him. <laughs> it really does. Even though he's a Rambo type of guy, yeah. for some reason, rainbow kind of fits it with does. him. Whitney, share um, briefly, if you will, with our viewers, just some Christmas wishes from your family to theirs. Um, I just wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a happy 2017. And thank you for your investments in the chamber. Thank you, Whitney, on behalf of Bass Physical Therapy. We appreciate you. All right, I have Joe Kynard with me with the City of Dublin. Joe, first year ambassador, impressions of the program this year? Uh, well, I've been um, improved, uh, impressed with the program. I've enjoyed it, and I think it's doing a lot to get the chamber out into the community. Joe, share a, a memorable moment that you may have experienced this year, whether it been at training or just throughout one of the lunches during the year. Well, we uh, went to the uh, Middle Georgia campus for the uh, first Friday, and uh, we all got up and said E-I-E-I-O when Randy uh, introduced himself. Well, now, that was the, the boom shakalaka I think we did over there. But uh, but you did at the beginning of the year, if you remember, and it's been a while ago, we had ambassador training, and you guys did sing E-I-E-I-O, and you made some, some animal noises, didn't you? Right. Yeah, right. I remember that now. So you, you feel like you've had a good year, you built some good relationships, and hopefully you certainly learned about the chamber? Yes, I learned a lot about the chamber, and um, I've been here 29 years, and this is the most involved I've ever been and had an opportunity to be involved, and I've really enjoyed it. And I do enjoy meeting all the new ambassadors. So it's, it's been a good, great experience, and it's something I'm glad that you've instigated. Well, Joe, we're glad to have you. We're glad to have our city involved and invested in our chamber. And on behalf of the city, would you like to share any uh, Christmas wishes or, or anything with our viewers? Well, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Joe, thank you. We appreciate you and the city of Dublin. Thank you. All right, I have Tracy Morgan with me, and Tracy's with Morris Bank here. Tracy, you're from Dublin? I am not from Dublin. I'm from Cordial, which is not too far from here. Okay, is that where you grew up? Yes, it is. Okay, so first year ambassador. Um, I know you guys have worked with the chamber for many, many years, but what has being an ambassador, um, in, in what ways has that maybe changed your thoughts or views on the chamber or even your hopefully your increase of knowledge of what the chamber does. Well, that's that's exactly what it's done. I've learned so much in the last year, just things that the chamber does that you didn't even realize. The behind the scenes effort that goes into effect every day, Heath and his staff work hard for the members every day and finding out the different programs that are offered and the different support that is provided for the members, that was probably the most the most that I learned this year. So would you say being a participant of the Chamber Ambassador Program has helped you personally as well as professionally? Oh, most definitely. The connections that I've made this last year, I've been in this community for well over 10 years and, and it's amazing to me the, the number of people that I continue to meet. Uh, it is a small town, however, everybody does not know everybody, uh, no matter what people try to tell you. There's so many people out there that you can meet uh, every day. Share, share with our viewers real quick, Tracy, something fun that you've enjoyed um, being in the program this year. <laughs> this group of people, uh, we are definitely a, a cross-section of the community, but I tell you, the sense of humor among this group is amazing. We have such a good time when we get together. Uh, it normally involves food and a lot of laughter, so it's a great group of folks. Definitely got to have some. We're enjoying some good food right now. <laughs> hey, Tracy, on behalf of the folks at Morris Bank, would you like to uh, share some Christmas um, wishes with our viewers. Absolutely. Merry Christmas and Happy Blue Year from Morris Bank. Uh, we do have our new website that we launched this week, uh, morris.bank. So go check it out and let us know what you think. Thank you to the folks at Morris Bank. Tracy, thank you for your service in the program. Hey, I want to welcome to the show Shannon Brantley. Shannon with Atlantic South Bank. And again, first year, but this is our first year having ambassadors. But Shannon, what's it meant to you to be a part of this program this year? Um, it's really just been an awesome experience to get to know the community. Um, we talked earlier about you, you think you know everyone in the community, but you really don't. And it was awesome to be able to meet new people and get to know them and their businesses. And that's really been the best part for me. With, with all these meetings we've had this year, we've had off-site tours of industries and an ambassador training this year. Is there any particular moment maybe that stands out to you that was uh, a serious moment or something you learned or something that was really fun? 
Um, well, all the meetings are fun. Um, I did enjoy the tour of Easter Seals. Um, I, I would love to do more tours of businesses like that. Um, you know, you're, you're not exactly sure what's going on, and that gives you a chance to really see what's going on in that business. And so th that was really fun for me. Okay, and share some Christmas wishes, if you would, from the uh, staff at Atlantic South Bank. Christmas wishes? Well, some cheer or whatever whatever your message is to the folks for, on behalf of Atlantic South Bank. Okay, well, we were, we were really excited to be able to be a part of this program this year. Um, we really got to get out more in the community. We haven't been in the past. Um, that was really awesome. We'd like to thank the Chamber, obviously, for letting us be a part. And um, just wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, Shannon, uh, for the folks. Thank you for your participation and the folks at Atlantic South Bank. We appreciate everything that you do for us.